Every airline has a checklist, but advocates for people with food allergies say, are passenger planes really ready for takeoff? This comes after a doctor was tasked with saving a stranger midair. CBS 2's Jessica Layton has this story that you'll only see on 2. This happy handshake during a reunion between a doctor and a patient only happened because fate put them on the same flight from JFK to Tel Aviv. Matt Farako says he normally doesn't even have allergies, but his hands began to swell. So I went to the flight attendant and asked her if she had an EpiPen. The reaction rapidly got worse. When I started sitting back down, I was talking to a friend and I felt my throat. Up. We're over the Atlantic Ocean at this point. Dr. Mikhail Varshavsky, known as Dr. Mike to millions of social media and YouTube fans, jumped at the call to help. I break open their kit, their emergency kit, and to my shock, there's no EpiPen. There's multiple forms of epinephrine in vials uh, with weird uh, dilutions on them. So here I am at 30,000 feet trying to calculate dosages from my memory. This life-threatening scenario is not isolated. Last year, Luca Ingrassia of Long Island had a serious allergic reaction to a cashew on a flight from Aruba. My um, throat started to tickle, and then my stomach started to hurt, and then my chest started to hurt. On land, I would have called 911, but in the air, what do you do? This is life or death in the skies. Another passenger gave the family an EpiPen. The Ingracias are pushing to get every passenger plane stocked with epinephrine auto injectors, similar to the law requiring defibrillators on flights. A fight Leanne Mandelbaum has been leading. You've got to have the right medication on board, or we are just looking to name a law after someone that dies on a plane. She says airlines have been given an exemption from the FAA for carrying epinephrine at all, citing a shortage. The group Food Allergy Research and Education, or FAIR, acknowledges there have been some shortages with brand specific EpiPens, but says airlines could buy auto injectors from other manufacturers. Advocates say the resistance more likely comes from the cost. Airlines should not have an excuse about money for this. It's about giving them time to get to the ground and survive this flight. Senator Chuck Schumer recently pointed out that if every plane carried EpiPens, it would cost the airlines about $2 million a year. That is eight cents per passenger. Both he and Dr. Mike say it is something an industry that's making billions of dollars can certainly afford. Now, individual airlines do set their own policies on how they choose to stock the epinephrine on the planes and if they choose this stock right now because of the exemption. And for information on that, we have posted a link to CBSNewYork.com. Feels like a no-brainer, Jess. It does does feel like a no-brainer and uh, when you get into the issues of cost and liability we think that that's the other side hopefully situations like the one that dr. Mike was just in set a real-life example that these are needed on airplanes you bet thank you Jessica. thank you Jessica